My name is Ryan Leverton and I am the lead technician of East Coast Overhaul, ECO division. ECO is, if you have a Land Rover, whether it be a Range Rover or a Defender, and you want upgrades to it, paint, engine, uh, interior change, then it comes to my shop and we have the skills here to do all of the uh, The project we're working on right now is Project Gun, which is a 93 Range Rover Classic. It's in for a paint color change, interior upgrade, and a LS engine swap as well. We're currently about 75% of the way through. It has an engine in it, it's mounted. We're hooking up all the accoutrement around it. The electrics are about 80% through on it. Um, getting ready for some door fab up and stuff. The main body is together. So we're, we're crossing over the top of the hill, getting ready for that home run stretch. Currently we're doing the uh, remote start, alarm remote start, now it's done, uh, our CTO Viper aftermarket unit. Um, I have to intercept all the factory wires, figure out my ignition, my accessories, so that when he hits remote start, all his gauges come on, uh, AC comes on, and he comes to either a nice hot truck or a nice cool truck, depending on the weather. With any of these older vehicles, it's a challenge. Um, there's always things that come up, trying to find wire intercepts and trying to figure out colors that either aren't there or have to trace back wiring to figure out where it originates. You know, it, gets, it gets difficult. I am currently removing the water pump off the new motor so we can put our Dakota digital gauge sending unit in a special place due to the link on it. It won't fit on the cylinder heads due to firewall clearance issues. So I'll be taking the water pump out, drill and tap, and install the sending unit in there. I'm working on the check straps for the rear right hand side door. Um, basically the challenges of being in a very compact place, trying to get the perfect adjustment for the doors to be able to close and hold on open, close and right. Well, the basic feel that I get is that the door won't swing out open and we'll have a door that's flingy. You'll have kind of a restriction on the door every time you would open it and you would have a good feeling on how the door is going to come out and keep open. I'm working right now on the frame for the doors and the windshield. But right now what I'm doing is putting the seal on the side here. This one is just one seal, one pig. The other one that I built right there, that one, is a uh, three piece of seal. So it has two windshields on it. It's been, as every other see, it's been a challenge, a uh, good one. We have our doors filled up with parts, we have windows in, we have lock mechanisms in, we have the interior is about 60% done. We got our headliner back in the truck, operational sunroof, which has been rebuilt with some broken pieces that were in it. Um, there's some beautiful, beautiful vinyl going on on the truck as well. Um, Drivetrain is nearly buttoned up, doing some fluids, doing some uh, random line hooks up, hookups and stuff like that. Got our first seats that are in the truck. The rear seats are going in, the front ones will be in a little bit later. I have some electrics that I'm finishing up now, getting ready to power the truck up and start testing. And we'll be wrapping this thing up pretty soon.